Okay, so if you actually understand some basic properties of powers and exponents, well, then you should be able to solve this math problem. Okay, so what we're looking for here is what is y equal to, and the y that we're talking about is this y right there. So let's take a look at this problem. We have 3 to the x minus 1 power times 3 to the 2x plus 1 power, and this is equal to 27 to the y power. And again, we're looking for what y is equal to. But uh, we do have a multiple choice question here, and let's take a look at our answers. So A is x, B is 3x, C is 9x squared, and D is negative 9. Now feel free to use a calculator, but if you could figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second, then of course I'm going to walk through exactly how to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so let's take a look at this problem one more time. Of course, the right answer is down here, so it's either A, B, C, or D. But what we have is a product of two powers, right? So we have 3 to the x minus 1 power times 3 to the 2x plus 1 power, and this is equal to 27 to the y power. So what is y equal to? Well, let's take a look at the right answer. The correct answer is A, y is equal to x. Now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and a certificate of excellence because you appear to be a certified professional expert in the basic properties of powers and exponents. So this is really critical, especially for those of you that are studying algebra. But if you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I'm totally lost. Well, don't despair. I'm going to show you exactly how to solve this problem. But uh, let's suppose you are a math student or you have to take math exams. Well, what should you do if you don't know how to do any math prom on a test? Well, if you're thinking to yourself, well, I know what I'm going to do, Mr. YouTube Math Man. I am going to do what I love to do, and that is I'm going to take a guess. And I would say, yes, indeed, that is exactly what you should do. Never, ever leave a math question blank, okay? Unless, of course, you're going to get penalized for the wrong answer, which could be the case on some tests like the SAT or uh, SAT, excuse me, or ACT. But in this particular case, if you have no idea, you know, what the answer is, you have a one out of four chance to get the right answer. So maybe you're like, well, this one, negative nine, doesn't have a variable here. This has an x, this is an x, this is an x squared. So maybe the correct answer is negative 9. Well, unfortunately, it's not the right answer, but at least you took a guess. All right, so the only way that you're going to absolutely get the right answer here is to know the mathematics. And what we're dealing with, again, is powers and exponents, right? So something like 2 to the third power. So this little 3 up there is the exponent. The 2 down here is the base. The entire thing is a power. Now, this expression is obviously a little bit more involved than something as simple as 2 to the third power. So what we want to do is review some basic properties of powers and exponents that will help us solve this problem. So let's go ahead and get into that right now. So let's think of the question uh, this way. Okay, so what we have is 3 to the x minus 1 times 3 to the 2x plus 1 is equal to 27 to the y power. So we can kind of phrase the question uh, this way. If we have this product is equal to 27 uh, to the y power, then what is y equal to? All right, so this is a, another way, again, we can express this problem. But really what we need to understand is some properties of powers and exponents. And when you study algebra, you got to get these properties down. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first property that we're going to need to understand, and that is what do we do when we are multiplying two powers, okay? Because that's what we're doing right here. So can we do something with this expression? We are trying to multiply these two powers. We'll deal with this uh, part of the problem in just one second, but let's go ahead and review when we can actually uh, simplify a situation where we, when we are multiplying two powers. So that's going to bring us to this property right here. So formally, 
what we have is a to the m times a to the n is equal to a to the m plus n. So this is the rule or the property. You know, in mathematics, when you hear uh, something like a property, it's effectively, just think of it as a rule. It's kind of a, a math law that you have to follow. But uh, these variables here, a and m and a and n, what do they represent? They just represent numbers. But we need to be very careful here in interpreting this rule. Okay, so what this is saying is we have a power, and we're going to multiply it to another power. But the base these bottom numbers are the same. So in other words, a to the m times a to the n. This a right here and this a right here, what uh, this rule is saying is that the bases, again, let's go back up here to uh, just get some basic definitions. So 2 to the third power, this is the base. Okay, so if I want to multiply this to another power, well, the bases have to be the same. Okay, now if the bases are different, well, you cannot use this property. All right, so let's go ahead and actually finish out the property. So if we're going to multiply two powers where the bases are the same, all we have to do is simply add the exponents, which are these top numbers. So let's go to take a look at a few examples. So 2 squared times 2 to the, thir to the third power. We're multiplying powers here, so all we have to do is simply add the exponents. So this is going to be 2 to the 2 plus 3, or 2 to the fifth power. Now, this property makes sense because 2 squared means what? Well, this means 2 times 2, and we're going to multiply it by 2 to the third power, which means 2 times 2 times 2. So when I multiply 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, well, I'm going to get how many 2s? Well, I'm going to get 5 2s, right? Of course, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I can express 5 2s, the product of 5 2s, as 2 to the fifth power. All right, so let's take a look at another example. So... Here we have x to the 4th times x to the 10th. So what you want to do is look at a problem and say, okay, what do we have here? We have two powers, and we're trying to multiply powers. So you got to think about the rule, and the rule is, are the bases the same? Now, if the bases are the same, then we can simplify this by adding the exponents. So x to the 4th times x to the 10th will be equal to x to the 4 plus 10, or x to the 14th. All right, so let's take a look at this situation. If I have y to the third times x to the seventh, can I simplify this expression? Well, no, you cannot. It's as uh, simple as you can get because the bases are different. This one is y, and this is uh, this one is x. So this property or law does not apply. All right, so that is the first uh, property that we need to understand. So let's go ahead and take a look at this problem again and say, all right, we're trying to multiply two powers. So are the bases the same? Well, indeed they are, all right? So we have three over here and three over here. So what we need to do is simply add the exponents. So x minus one plus two x plus one. Uh, that's what we want to do. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So three to the x minus one times three to the two x plus one. All we're going to do is add the exponents. So that'll be x minus 1 right here plus 2x plus 1. And when we do all this lovely math, we're going to get what? Well, x uh, plus 2x is 3x, and minus 1 plus a 1 is 0. So all of this is equal to 3 to the 3x. Okay, so that is the first part of this problem. Now what we need to do is take a look at the problem in this manner. So this is the original problem. So we have 3 to the x minus 1 times 3 to the 2x plus 1 is equal to 27 to the y power. So we now know that all of this here, using um, the product power, well, let me see here, how can I uh, uh, describe this? This would be a property of exponents when you are multiplying two powers. Okay, so that's a better way of saying it. So the result of this is equal to 3 to the 3x power. All right, so here is our problem, and again, we're looking to uh, uh, determine what y is equal to. All right, so we're pretty close here. We have 3 to the 3x is equal to 27 to the y. Now, if you're saying, hey, Mr. u math man, this is a 3 and this is a 27, maybe these two bases have something uh, to do with one another because 27 is a multiple of 3. Well, that is good thinking, but we need to use another property of powers and exponents, but uh, let's go ahead and take the next step, which of course is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
You see, I started this channel to reach as many people as I possibly could and help them with mathematics. And I like to really explain math problems in a really kind of slow, easy pace so all people can understand. You see, if I'm trying to explain something uh, to someone who needs help in math, it's not going to do them any good if I rush through the process. Okay, of course, if you already know what you're doing, you can say, yes, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I get that, I get that, I get that. But to, for those of you that don't get this or you're trying to learn it for the first time, it's best to, you know, have a nice, easy pace of instruction. And that's what my channel is all about. But uh, for me to reach as many people as possible, I need your help on YouTube. And the best way to support my work is to actually just hit that subscribe button. And if you're going to do that, hit that notification bell as well so you can get my latest videos. By the way, uh, in the description, you'll find links to all my main math courses. So if you really want to learn math from me and the level of math that we're doing here is like Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 level math. So you can find the links to those in the description. Also, if you're not a math student, you might be interested in my Math Skills Rebuilder course, uh, which obviously rebuilds your math skills starting from basic math. All right, so let's go ahead and pick it up. Uh, and again, at this point in the problem, we got this down to a pretty good, uh, uh, well, basically we've done a lot of work already. I guess that's what I wanted to say. So we have 3 to the 3x is equal to 27 to the y. Now, as we talked about, 3 and 27 have something in common, right? Because 27 is a multiple of 3. And anytime you are dealing with powers and exponents, one of the best things you can do, if possible, is get the bases the same. So how can we um, basically rewrite this power right here, 27 to the y, where the base is 3? Well, if you're saying, well, Mr. YouTube Math Man, 27 is the same thing as 9 times 3, and 9 is, of course, 3 squared, so 3 squared times 3 is 3 cubed. Well, that is fantastic thinking, and that's exactly what we're going to do. All right, so we have 3 to the 3x is equal to 27 to the y, so we're going to rewrite uh, 27 as 3 cubed. And the reason why we're going to do that is because many of the um, properties of powers and exponents uh, can only apply when the bases are the same. Okay, so now we have the bases uh, basically the same, which of course is 3. So now we need another property of powers and exponent, uh, exponents to address this situation right here. So we have 3 cubed, all this to the y power. So what can we do? Well, uh, what we need to do is take a look at this next property. All right, so uh, this is the actual formal property. So we have a to the m to the n is equal to a to the m times n. Basically, what this means is that when you have a power okay, to an outside exponent, and you can see here I have some simple examples, all you need to do is multiply the outside exponent to the inside exponent. So like, for example, 2 to the third power squared is equal to 2 to the 6, or x to the 5th, uh, all that to the 4th power is equal to x to the 20th. Now, if you forget these rules, sometimes you can easily uh, kind of reverse engineer them. Let's take a look at this one right here, 2 cubed squared. So what does that mean? Well, it means 2 cubed times 2 cubed. And 2 cubed means what? Well, it means 2, well, 2, not 3. It means 2 times itself 3 times, so 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, right? So this is what 2 cubed squared is, right? So 2 cubed times itself is 2 cubed squared. And when we multiply all these 2s, we're going to get 2 to the 6th power. All right, so we need this uh, particular property because we have an outside exponent and this inside exponent. So all we need to do is multiply. All right, so let's go ahead and take that next step. So 3x is equal to 3 cubed, which of course was 27 or is 27 to the y power. So now let's distribute this y to this 3. And we have 3 to the 3x is equal to 3 to the 3y. All right, so this power is equal to this power, or this value is equal to this value. Now, if we have uh, the base, uh, the basis here the same, well, what does that mean about the exponents? Well, the exponents must be the same. So, for example, if I said we have 3 to the 10th is equal to 3 to the what power? Okay, we don't need to overthink this, right? So 3 to the 10th is equal to 3 to the what power? Well, this um, exponent here must be 10 if we're saying these values are the same. 
So all we need to do is equate the exponents. So again, that's why we wanted to get the bases the same because now all we have to do is uh, literally just equate the exponents. So 3x is equal to 3y. And uh, let's go ahead and just look at the basic algebra here. So uh, 3x must be equal to 3y if these two are the same. So 3x is equal to 3y. The 3s go away, or we can divide both sides of the equation by 3, and we get x is equal to y. All right, so this particular problem was, I think, uh, pretty interesting because, um, well, for, uh, well, at least for me, hopefully you found it interesting. But one of the techniques that isn't so obvious is this part of the problem right here. So you have 3 to the 3x, and then we had 27 to the y power. Very often in math, especially algebra, you're going to have to rewrite a base such that it's equal to another uh, base like 3 in this particular example. So don't be surprised if you run into a lot of these type of problems, especially with power uh, powers and exponents type problems and logarithm or exponential function type of problems. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.